Hey everyone, Joel Lance here, and today we're in Montgomery, Alabama, outside. Fried tomato buffet, yes, fried tomato buffet. So this is a southern buffet, guys, homegrown cooking. When you're in the south, it's what you gotta enjoy. So uh, I'm just gonna, this is gonna be like a normal day of eating for me. Uh, I'm not doing a challenge today. I'm not gonna, you know, intentionally crush this buffet too much. We're just gonna kinda eat, try to eat kinda healthy and have some fun. Try out this buffet, it's very highly rated. Um, so it should be fun. So let's go on in, let's have some food and let's eat. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at the Fried Tomato Buffet. Yes, the Fried Tomato Buffet in Montgomery, Alabama. So, I was just driving through the area on the way from uh, Florida to Atlanta, and uh, it came that time to eat. I needed to eat. It was a long day of driving, long day of traveling, and so we ended up here. Um, so I always like to kind of look up local buffets when I'm in areas, sometimes try them out, sometimes I just hit up a golden corral, you know, it just depends what's available. So of course we had some southern uh, cuisine, and so I wanted to kind of try it out, as this was advertised as home cooking, homegrown cooking. So to start off, I had some cucumber salad, which was kind of like a pickled or like vinegar soaked uh, cucumber. I had some carrot slaw. The carrot slaw was really good, very peppery. I also had uh, some little uh, tomatoes. I guess you'd probably call those like, uh, like arguably grape or plum cherry tomatoes, plum tomatoes, I suppose, um, as they were just little little things. Uh, they weren't bad. The, like I said, the, um, the slaw was good though. Then I had some uh, chicken, which was barbecue chicken with the sauce on it, which I'm trying right now. It was okay. Um, and then I also had some fried chicken there and I had some catfish, which are generally kind of my go-tos when I go to a Southern cuisine or a Southern buffet, the fried chicken and the catfish. So I was here probably about like a seven, maybe 7 p.m. Um, 6, 6, 7 p.m. They're open for a, you know a couple hours afterwards. Um, I found the tray table when I arrived was quite empty. Um, there was a lot of people more so getting the buffet to go rather than eating in. Um, so that's like where you pay a certain price and you get to fill, a, a, fill up a plate. Um, yeah, I had some trouble with the hot sauce here, as you can tell. But eventually, um, you know, they did start to ch exchange some of the items. Um, one thing's for sure, as you can just see, they that was not Crystal Hot Sauce. I love Crystal Hot Sauce. It's one of my favorite, like, Louisiana slash hot sauces. And that was not Crystal. They definitely just filled that bottle up with something else. So I went and grabbed uh, some Louisiana, and it was actual Louisiana hot sauce. Not just, like, you know, something which they filled in there some other let's say you know probably cheaper hot sauce or hot sauce they bought in bulk to fill up um so trying the catfish it was good i did enjoy it um these first pieces i had were a little cooler um again i could tell again they were kind of sitting up there for a little bit and as you know as i explained when i first arrived things uh, the tray table was a little empty um the fried chicken as well was pretty solid it was again kind of a little uh, cooler at the start here, but the flavor wasn't bad. Um, out of the two uh, that I tried, um, whether it be the catfish, the barbecue chicken, I guess the three that I tried, the catfish, the barbecue chicken, and the fried chicken, uh, probably the catfish was my favorite. Um, and as you can tell, I am loving the hot sauce. I really like hot sauce. I eat a lot of hot sauce when I'm not doing challenges, but when I'm doing challenges and I eat a lot of food, I find it makes me nauseous. But when I'm eating leisurely like this, I do really enjoy hot sauce. So if you can't tell, I was filming on my phone and I was filming like with it, you know, like I was facing the back. So as you could tell, when I tried to show the plates to the camera, I was not actually showing them very effectively as I wasn't really sure where the view was. Um, this time I tried some turkey, um, which was pretty good. I had some more of the uh, carrot slaw there. I had some more of the cucumber salad. I also tried some coleslaw, and then I had some more catfish. I had some collard greens and some green beans. So again, trying out some of the Southern favorites. The coleslaw was very, very good. It was a fine kind of chopped or minced coleslaw, very peppery, like black pepper, but I really, really enjoyed it. It was very good, um, just like pretty creamy, but not overly creamy. And again, same as the coleslaw the carrot slaw um, lots of pepper in it but very tasty so when it came to like the the different slaws they had them down packed um, like really really good now again we're hitting up some of the green beans um, the green beans they were they were pretty good they were um, you know very well cooked um, soft cooked green beans definitely cooked in a bit of pork um, you could tell there was definitely some fat in them same as on the collard greens definitely some fat in there um, but they were solid like no complaints pretty I'd say standard green beans slash 
collard greens that you'd expect at kind of a homegrownish buffet. Had some more of the catfish, and the uh, the fresher catfish um, was definitely much better, which is kind of why I was picking at uh, some of the catfish. Again, not only did I enjoy it the fur at first round, but I was also enjoying it because it was fresher. Um, kind of the buffet logic, and the best thing to do is to try a number of items at first that you think you like, or you know you like, or you're interested in, and then once you find like one of the items is better than the others, you're probably best to stick to that, at least until there are subsequent or new trays, new orders brought up. Um, these are like these little, like I don't know they call them like Tabasco peppers. I, like, I just kind of eat them. I just wanted to add some more heat, kind of, and uh, you know, some more salt, kind of, to what I was having. I really like salt and I really like spice, so it worked out pretty good. Fried green tomato. So that actually might have been my first time having a fried green tomato. Um, it wasn't bad, it just wasn't like the best thing I've ever had, so I don't think I would order them necessarily, but I definitely uh, thought it was worth a try. Um, and basically the way I describe it is just kind of like a, you mostly taste the batter, like the fried pieces, the fried components, if that makes sense. But like I said, it was okay. I had some more green beans and then I had some more of the chicken this time as they brought out some new chicken. So you know me, I am always grabbing them breasts. I do like the breasts, chicken breasts that is. And of course I was dousing it in that hot sauce. Um, fun fact, I inquired, I was like, where's the ketchup at? Because it wasn't on the table and they actually didn't have bottles of ketchup at all. They only had it self-serve on the buffet. So I knew that I was going to have to get literally a dish. Yes, a dish of ketchup. Um, so, you know, that was in the works. But in the meantime, definitely enjoying that fried chicken. Like I said, the fresher fried chicken was definitely better. The first round, not quite as great. But luckily, like I said, with that, well, we're literally halfway through a bottle of hot sauce on about our second plate. Um, let's just say that was definitely adding in that extra flavor, that extra zing, flair, spice of life that I guess you could say that you would always want to have in such an item. Um, when it came to like the breading of the chicken, it was good. It had a good crisp to it. Uh, for those who know me and have been following my channel for a while, breading is and like skin is never. 100% what I go for, but I always appreciate when it's good. I then got a little bit of fruit, um, essentially just some um, different melons, some pineapple, and some grapes. Uh, again, I was not like splurging, I was just eating to eat. Uh, this was not me trying to overindulge or destroy this buffet. This is just literally my like one meal for this day. Not, I don't normally only have one meal a day, but this is my one meal for this day because it was such a long day of busy traveling, etc. So like I said, had to get some fruit, had to get some health. I'm all about that. And uh, yeah, so overall, not too bad. Could be wor could have been worse, could have been better. But uh, the grapes are good, pineapple's good, melons, mediocre. Ketchup. So I got a few new items here being like the candied yams, the sweet potato casserole, um, which candied yams, if you've never had them, again, are basically sweet potatoes, but they're just drenched in sugar, drenched in butter, and as I said, they're very sweet. They're very, very good though, but they're very, very sweet. Um, sweet potato casserole as well, very similar, um, less sugar, kind of, less buttery, less liquidy, but it is still a sweet potato, which is generally cooked with brown sugar, butter, um, a lot more like thicker sweet potato, more like a mashed sweet potato, generally cinnamon in there, and it was very good as well, just super, super duper hot, but that's just because it was, you know, it was there, it was hot. Um, had some more of that cucumber salad, which I liked. Basically, again, it was kind of like pickled, pickled cucumbers in a way. Uh, you know, that's the best way to put it, or you could also just call it basically cucumbers that were soaking in kind of a vinegar-y, vinaigrette dressing. 
uh, more of the coleslaw, more of the tomatoes. Again, this is just me eating for health. Uh, plus, I love vegetables anyway. But of course, I always like to get my fiber in my, um, you know, and just like I had the rutabags there, I figured I'd give them a try. I had some green beans. Like I said, all about the health, all about the vegetables. And then I had some more of the catfish. Um, again, I really enjoy the mixture of ketchup and hot sauce like that. And it is my absolute favorite on, well, on a lot of things, to be honest, but definitely on fried catfish, definitely on fried chicken, um, but mostly on like any kind of chicken. And even if I'm like eating, let's say like chicken legs at home, which were just like baked in the oven or roasted, a hot sauce and either ketchup or barbecue sauce mix are definitely one of my favorite uh, combinations, one of my favorite sauces. But again, the catfish, I mean, we kind of already spoke to it. Um, it was solid. It was flaky. It was soft. It was definitely not overcooked. Um, and it was, it was solid. I had no complaints. And you could tell it was very hot. Like I said, they just kind of filled the table with it. So that's why I was leaning a little bit more towards the catfish. Uh, plus, I like it. I really like catfish. It's something I don't get in the northern, like in Canada. I don't know. You never get catfish, really. Um, so every time I'm in the south, I kind of splurge. I enjoy it. I mean, there's nothing like good catfish. Um, and let me know down below if you've never had catfish. Because only a couple years ago, maybe two years ago, a year and a half, that was the first time I had catfish. Probably two years ago. So like I said, if you've never had catfish, comment down below. And that way someone can kind of tell you what it's like. Um, in fact, I'll do it right now. Catfish kind of a light, slightly oily fish, sweet tasting, delicious. All right, here we had some more fruits, some pineapple, some uh, winter melon, um, which was good. No complaints about that. Um, also like honeydew melon, I guess you can call it. I also then had the catfish. I had some green beans. Um, basically, again, just like a easy to eat cooked vegetable, which tasted good. A uh, Some lovely fruits, which I like sweet fruits and plus health. Um, that's generally where I get my carbohydrates from when I go to buffets. It's not like I don't, like in, in my day-to-day -day life, I eat breads. I eat quite a lot of bread, to be honest. Um, I never really eat pastas. I don't just, I just don't really enjoy them. I don't usually eat many kinds of noodles on my day-to-day. Um, but I generally generally eat a lot of breads. I love fruits. That's why I get where I choose to get my carbohydrates again. Um, plus, I mean, you know, I'm getting some in this uh, in this buffet, you know, through the breadings on the items, also through the ketchup, um, some of the vegetables, etc. Um, I also, if, if you're bored and want to know, I also like oatmeal. Oatmeal and popcorn are another things I eat at home, uh, on not at buffets. Um, but like I said, this is basically me eating everything I wanted to for my one day in the buffet. So if you want to call it, some people call it OMAD or whatever, like one meal a day. Again, I don't normally follow that at home. There, you know, scientifically isn't really shown any advantages to doing such, but that is just what I was doing this day because it was very busy. I was traveling and ultimately I needed to eat by the end of it. So that is why I'm here eating like I was. Um, and yes, obviously, again, in my normal day to day at home, I don't normally have like fried catfish and, you know, other items like that. But while we were here, like I said, you're in the South, you got to enjoy the cuisines. And it was like, yeah, let's be honest, at this point, I also consumed way too much sodium from all that hot sauce and stuff. So yeah, everybody also just don't consume that much sodium at all. Like you don't need to, it's not good. And last but not least, we had some fried chicken because they brought some new out. I had some rutabagas, I had some catfish, then I just had some of the tomatoes, uh, you know, cucumber salad, basically all the items I had, a little bit of the carrot slaw. So basically I already touched on that. Um, so yeah, pretty much I'm just gonna leave you to it. Like I said, overall, it was a solid experience. It was, it didn't blow me out of the water. Um, I wish that some of the items probably would have been changed a little bit more. Um, you know, we also had some, uh, one, one item I forgot to comment on earlier, so we had some beef, we had some beef tips. Um, those are also pretty good. Uh, but yeah, like a good variety, you know, of different items, different, um, yeah, that's about it. It was a good variety of different items. Overall, I did enjoy it. Uh, no complaints. If I had to give it a rating out of 10, I'd probably put it like a 6.5 or 7 out of 10. Uh, being that I would go back if I was in the area. I would not make a special trip to go back. 
Um, but you know, if you're ever in the area, you want to just go get some kind of all you can eat Southern food at a reasonable price. It was, I want to say about, uh, maybe like 12, $13, uh, somewhere between 12 and $14, um, you know, for the, the meal, uh, water was included obviously, but if you wanted any sodas or drinks, they were an additional charge. Um, but that was about that. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you uh, enjoyed this buffet experience and that I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe, yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.